Hello and welcome to the Forex Rough Alert for July 19th. We are looking at the US Japanese yen pair first. This pair surged to the downside, closed be below previous support. We are looking for it overall to be moving to the downside. However, it could potentially go as high as uh, 79.12, possibly as low as 78.06. Look for some resistance around 78.85 and look for some support around 78.41. Now the Euro USD pair, this pair pretty much closed even, uh, about a pep down actually, but uh, fairly close. Uh, could signal a reversal. Overall been moving sideways. Look for it to potentially go as high as 123.69, possibly as low as 121.64. Look for some resistance around 123.15 and look for some support around 122.00. Now the pound US dollar pair, it surged to the upside, broke through previous area of resistance, closed just a hair below it. We are looking for it to potentially go as high as 158.09, possibly as low as 155.77. Look for some resistance around 157.35 and look for some support around 156.50. Now the US Swiss, this pair closed down just by uh, a little bit or up rather just by a little bit. We are looking for it to potentially go as high as 0.9866, possibly as low as 0.9710. Look for some resistance around 0.9838. And look for some support around one or around zero ninety seven fifty. Now, as far as news announcements go, tomorrow we have the euro releasing the or has the German producer's price for June being released at two a.m. Eastern. Consensus on that is that it's dropped from two point one percent down to one point eight percent. Then at eight thirty a.m. Eastern, we have the Bank of Canada Consumer Price Index core for June being released. Consensus on that one is that it's moved higher from 1.8% up to 2.3%. Uh, then we have uh, just the regular CPI being released for June, not just the core at 8.30 a.m. Eastern. Consensus on that one is that it's raised as well from 1.2% up to 1.7%. Make sure to keep an eye on those news announcements. They can affect the market. Now, what am I looking for during this next session? Well, you can see that the Euro USD has been forming this nice little trend line here uh, and we have uh, pretty much a doji bar it's in the middle of a sideways action which doesn't give it as much uh, weight as if it was at the top or at the very bottom but nonetheless I am looking for a break of this trend line have been now for a couple of days just kind of sitting and waiting waiting for it to happen when it does I am looking for it to move lower much much quicker so looking to grab at least 30 pips out of this to the downside uh, if not more currently we have right now at the very low uh, let's take a look at what this would be we've got about 75 pips uh, from our trend line down to the very low here grabbing 30 pips should not be a problem whatsoever out of this might want to drop down to a lower time frame to do it but nonetheless uh, it's definitely there now if we back out a little ways just to kind of get a, an overview of what we're looking at we can see that this pair has been uh, in a downward move for a good while even if we go out to the month uh, you can see we've been moving lower now for uh, several months overall week time frame same deal and the day of course we're back to where we were let's go ahead and drop down to the 15 just to keep an eye on it uh, let me back out you can see we've touched this line numerous times along the way uh, and you can clean that line up on this lower time frames if you want uh, to make it a little bit more exact but nonetheless we could very well see this drop on through here and then move lower so that is what I'm looking at looking for a sell and looking to grab at least 30 pips from this next session well I hope that helps and until next time this is Jason Fielder good trading